playoffs. All right, that's but. enough of that one as we get to the game. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be here to see a, a, a little, little Texas matchup here inside the Pizza Hut Stadium. Dallas and Houston, two very differing teams. Dallas going to be that ground and pound with Zeke Elliott. Houston going to air it out with DeAndre Hopkins. Exactly. I'm not quite sure who's the Texans. Do we know who the Texans are here? Either way, you know, we're going to establish Hopkins, post flag elite, post, corners. Right there, you see T Dot is going to be the uh, Texans. A little two back. You don't really see that too much. Three wide set for Deshaun Watson. Can't emphasize enough how important this game is. These guys already have one loss. Once you get two, that's what double elimination means. You're going home. As a run on first down, don't see too many runs with Lamar Miller and the Houston Texans to kick off a game. Especially out of a two-back set where you have an auto motion. I'm interested to see if that's going to be his main scheme. As you see, he does go back to that shotgun slot offset formation. He's going to continue probably to do that motion. More than likely, this is going to be a pass play, though. Again, three wide set, two to the right side, one over to the left side to Sean Watson at the helm, dropping back to pass under pressure, but he gets it off and he finds Will Fuller right side for a first down. Right there, that was a play called shakes, but he did make some adjustments to it. Uh, looks like there's a pause right here to do some minor changes. But uh, I like the fact that he went to shakes, but you could tell he is adjusting. He didn't keep the post on that play. Uh, he actually went ahead and got a nice little dot for the first down. We go to Sean Watson at the helm. You can't me. You can't me. I know somebody, I'm not going to name any names, but somebody in the back would want me to point out that he's a former Clemson Tiger. <laughs> uh, his name rhymes with Bot Cole. His Tigers came out with a big win last night over Georgia Tech, and Watson handed it to Lamar Miller. Lights, when you're in these tournaments, you're playing some guys you haven't seen before. A guy like, like T-Dot, he's running the scheme that isn't the meta. Is that harder to go against than something like the Heavy Panther or the Bunch that you know what's coming? Definitely, especially on this first drive where you're like, wow, he just went from two back to pistol two back. He has a legit scheme. Right here going with slants for the first down. And Will Fuller's in space! And Will Fuller, he's going to take it to the end zone! How about the passing attack? You may not know what the scheme is, but I know that scheme just got teed on a six-point lead. I don't know if I love the two slants running almost into each other, but it worked out. There was no zone defender in that area, and that was a very great touchdown to start the drive for T-Dot. And look at T-Dot. He is pumped for his first touchdown. See if Big Boy could answer back. He was in the nickel normal, so he was running kind of a meta defense, so I wouldn't doubt it if he's in maybe like a gun bunch or... Actually, Dallas, he's in eye form. Oh, oh Pollard. whoa, whoa, whoa. Pollard with a big return. He's got some space. Tried the hesitation. Good tackle. But that's the rookie running back. You hear about Zeke, but Pollard's got a lot of speed. I believe 94 speed. And he showed it off there on that kick return. I would have liked to see a stop and go there. A nice true boy stop and go would have been a touchdown. As you see, big boy's going to go to eye form, but he passes on the first play. Oh, he's mixing it up. Looks over the middle. That's the fullback. Oh, Wally to the 30-yard line, mixing it up. Looked like a little angle route from the backfield. And Jamise Olawale with a first down. I'm super surprised he went for a pass on first down from I-4 and went to the fullback. That is, I would never expect that defensively. Sometimes being unpredictable is your best weapon. Zeke at the top of the I-2 wide set. How about throw one more time, looking to the out route. It's Amari Cooper. So the I don't, former Raider in Dallas now. He's a great weapon for Dak oh, Prescott. He, he definitely is. He also re, uh, he has 80, over 85 deep route run, and that's very important when uh, facing man coverage to get open on routes like corner routes and things like that. Um, that route looked kind of tight, but he did get a cover three read, and I think that was the right play call. And why not? I've seen this before. That's Zeke Elliott. Good stop on the edge. But how about three plays from the I form? That's the first time it's been a handoff to Zeke Elliott. And automatically he goes into a shotgun. Shotgun doubles offset. Three wide receivers, two to the left side, one over the right side. Zeke Elliott on the right hip of Dak Prescott. Low verticals. Quick throw. That's what you get with Dak. And that is maybe the downside. Everybody talks about how good the arm bar is, how good Zeke is. 
the offensive downside is Dak Prescott can be wild throwing the ball. And that was unfortunate because that was a good read against the cover three. He found the open seams, just Dak didn't make the throw. Saw there on the bottom of your screen, it, it went for the high pass there, and that one didn't work out. He Third and 12. Again. Dak over the middle. That's Michael Woo! Gallup takes a big hit at the one, holds onto the ball, though, and it's a big first down for Big Boy. Excellent pass, excellent hit stick. One yard line right now. Expect a fullback dive. Actually, this looks like a QB sneak right here with the way the defensive line is aligned. There's the pinch. It's a fullback dive. And a nice stop. Hurry back to the line, back to the goal line formation. Does it go back to the fullback dive? Yeah, one more time, go the other way. That stopped again. Okay. All right, third time's the charm. Fly in that defense. Can he find it on third and goal? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. He's into the end zone. That's the hardest one yard big boy has ever gotten in his Madden career. But he got it. Ties the ball, ball game up, 7-7. Interested to see what happens on this next drive for TDOT. Kick is up. It is good. Seven all. As a reminder, this is the loser's qualifier. So these guys each have one loss on their record here in the double elimination tournament. So lights while this tournament was very forgiving to start. Unfortunately, they've used up their forgiveness. There's no more lifelines. You've got to win your way out to get that belt. It's winner go home, baby. It's time to lock in. Lock up if you're on defense. And right here, TDOT getting out of the two back, going into a spread look. I love spread in Madden 20. I think it's one of the hardest defenses to stop. See what happens here. First and 10, Watson in the shotgun. So we're nearing the end of the first quarter. Dropping back, waiting, nobody home. Rolls out, still nobody home. Might have somebody over the middle looking for Kiki Kuti. And the possession catch, it's alive and well here in Madden 20. That's your guy, Kiki. Seems to, oh, every Texan user is really using him to get key crucial first downs. Little escape art has gone wrong. That was an RPO. And Demarcus Lawrence with the tackle. That's probably the part about Dallas. Everybody talks about Zeke. Pass rush. That defense. Demarcus Lawrence, you got Jalen Smith, uh, Van Der Esch. That is a tough defense. Then you got Byron Jones on the outside. They may be known for running the ball, but they can get stops when needed. Exactly. Demarcus Lawrence has that edge threat ability. Also, if you get him to unstoppable force with the X Factor, it's GG. You're not stopping him. And then Byron Jones with the zoned out ability. He plays any type of zone extremely well. You really have to stay away from him. As we've reached the end of the first quarter, 7-7 the score. T-Dot with the ball, the Houston Texans passing attack. Here comes out one more time in that pistol two back set. Lights completely confused next to me. <laughs> it's on second and 14, rolls out left side, looking for D-Hop over the middle. Diving play at the 27 yard line. I like the throw, you know, using Hopkins with the post route, going no huddle here. And why not hand it to Lamar Miller, cuts back left. There's one of those linebackers, Sean Lee in on the tackle. Only a yard on the play. The reason why I was shaking my head is because he had, you know, he's using two, two back, but he has the full back in and he's not really getting much done with him. Um, I feel like it would be better if the Texans use a three wide receiver personnel, but. Cover zero, hero. He finds Kiki Kuti over the middle and hurry up offense. Three wide set, D Hop on the left side, got Byron Jones on him. There's Tank Lawrence trying to get after Deshaun. He'll only pick up a yard. He can't like seeing the quarterback taking hits considering how many fumbles there are from the quarterback position. Yeah, and especially because he was so close to the sideline, he could have avoided that by either sliding or just taking it out, uh, out of bounds. But he is using the escape artist pretty well. I do see that there is a spy on the field, but it might not be fast enough to stop Watson. How about strength on strength? Byron Jones on DeAndre Hopkins, looks over the middle. Great user off. pick. It's Jalen Smith, and he's got room on the left side. Does he have enough breakaway speed? Can D-Hop run him down. He's to the 40, taken down, shy of the 35. Jalen Smith with a huge red zone interception. Great user pick right there. Oh, man, I thought he was going to get the touchdown. Look at this. I don't know who he, if he was looking for Hopkins or Kuti, but Jalen Smith said, you got me. And look at him trying to turn on the burners. D-Hop with a huge chase down tackle. And that's what I was saying about the slants, you know. Right there with slants going from left to right and right to left, they run into each other. So with one user defender, you're able to take away both guys. You didn't know he was throwing to, it didn't matter, because he guarded both. Zeke, nowhere to go. 
Surprised to see him try to run Zeke up the middle there instead of a stretch run to the outside. Yeah, it's very interesting he's electing to run out of shotgun. I know he did venture into that I form to start the game, but Zeke is best, you know, with the inside zones, with the, with the stretches. At the very least, run an inside zone here and utilize his ability. Third and five, Prescott looking to throw it down the field. He went high pass. That's what's messing him up, is this is not Madden 19. That high pass is not automatic. Trying to do that with Dak Prescott, you get inaccurate throws like that. Yeah, and especially with the change to the pass trajectories, right there, there was a, a zone defender underneath that comeback route. But with the way the game is, I don't mind. And he gosh, missed the he field missed goal. The field goal. Mistakes after mistakes. And listen, this game's far from over. But if Big Boy loses this game, he's going to look back at that drive and go, what happened there? It's really, anytime someone misses a field goal, it's super unfortunate, especially when it seems like a very reasonable uh, kick. He should have hit that. So a huge interception by Jalen Smith turns into Nada. And now T Dot back on offense. Play action pass. Watson getting out the right side. And he will. It wasn't a throwaway. That was actually a throw to a receiver. As you saw at the bottom, it said pressure inaccurate. Luckily, it was so inaccurate, it hit uh, the popcorn vendor in row two. Yeah, it was a little bit of a sloppy play right there from both sides. You see that uh, Big Boy actually showed his play art. You cannot do that at a live event. Looking downfield. Oh, oh, Byron Jones was there. He clicked on and missed time the pick, and T Dot bailed out. No huddle offense as we are under a minute and a half in the first half. How about Watson running left side, a design run? He'll pick up eight. I want to see more of that. I hope that T Dot just realized that that is a problem that Big Boy is not going to be able to stop anytime soon. I want to see him go back to that draw. How about going back to that two back pistol formation? Correct. Hand off to Lamar. First down. Trucks cast for the friendly ghost inside the five to the four yard line. No huddle action yet again. Staying in that two back. Well, we see Lamar Miller get another touch. This feels like a pass play. Three wide set. Looks like a lot of hot routes here. Could be faking it. Using that clock, dropping back to pass. Oh, what a block on the edge. It's a lot of Dallas Cowboys there, but there's Will Fuller in the end zone. He finds it for the second time. You can talk about Kuti, you can talk about Hopkins, but it has been all Will Fuller today as T Dot ecstatic with a touchdown. Deshaun Watson making something happen with his legs. Man coverage, none of the slants were open. Last second, he found that open receiver, getting seven, taking that seven point lead. And as you see right there, that's the same face T Dot would have if he won the lottery. <laughs> Calm, cool, collected as it's gonna be Pollard taking this kick. He's already had one big return for Big Boy, this time to the 26 yard lines. Let's look at this one more time. What are you seeing here uh, from Deshaun Watson? I'm seeing a great rollout. A risky throw. Sets his feet though. That was the key. If he tries to make that rolling cross body, that ball I think gets picked off. Lights is laughing because he's going, I'm gonna put this on my next YouTube video about throws not to make. Well, remember what we said about Skimbo on how you just throw the ball away? It winded up working out in this situation, but I feel like he should have threw the ball away. But he did get seven, so just I'm Just because it worked, it doesn't make it a good throw. Yeah. There you go. But at the end of the day, he scored on the biggest game of his life probably right now. He's up seven. He gets this stop. He's in extremely good position. 34 seconds left in the first half. Big boy, Prescott, corner route. Reed can't get that, that's Michael Gallup again to the 29 yard line. Great play call right there. It was, looks like a cover two man defense to protect uh, the vertical streaks, but it did not stop the corner out. He was able to get it, get out of bounds, keep his two timeouts and in field goal range. That's one where you'd like to see maybe an earlier click on to Eric Reed make a hit because those hit sticks in this game, that pries the ball free on those wide receivers. Exactly. Prescott steps up, looking over the middle, inaccurate Back throw to Sean Gibson with the pick. It was another high pass attempt. It's not working out, and maybe Big Boy's got to lay off the left bumper because Dak Prescott has yet to complete a high pass in this game. This is probably the reason why 
the people that are using the Cowboys are running with Zeke Elliott majority of the time. Dak Prescott is killing him right now. That was an awful throw. He has to stop high passing though. Play action pass for T. Dot. Oh. Can he get another score? Listen, they can say that was an accurate bullet pass. There's nobody there. Yeah. You could blame that on the quarterback, but that was not a good decision. Blame it on the quarterback was not quite as popular of a song from Jamie Foxx. <laughs> blame it on the quarterback. Second and 10, Watson, left side. Oh, Kiki, oh, Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding in the backseat into the end zone? A huge touchdown before the half for Dot. Nick, you're amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Kiki, what a throw, what a catch, what a touchdown. Right before the end of the half. And the Pizza Hut Stadium erupts. How about a momentum changer? T dot with the dot. A crispy dot. Oh, that was great from Pizza Hut Stadium. Like a crispy crust on the pizza right there. Let's go, go. How about the score with two seconds left? Give us, give us a, a Zeke Elliott stretch right here. Make something happen. Just give us one stretch, a little arm bar action. Just give it to Zeke Elliott in general. There you it's go. An arm bar. There you go. Halftime. Boy, how different lights is it? You're not, instead of going into half down 14 to seven, how different is it now going in 21-7 down? It's extremely different, especially when it was a last second touchdown like that on a big play. Um, you know, it's it, rough. Let's, let's look at this one more time. This is just a simple crossing route across the field. A receiver is Kuti, but here's the missed tackle from Jones. And once Kuti's in space, lights, you can just wave goodbye. Exactly. Missed hit stick. He didn't have to go for the hit stick there. He just needed to get him down. Uh, poor user play, and he's down two possessions. 21-7. Win, you're alive. Lose, well, you can spend the rest of the time here in Arlington at Six Flyers because your time here at the Madden NFL 20 Classic is over. Luckily for Big Boy, he gets the ball to start the second half. He still has a lot of time, too. I know he's down two scores, two touchdowns. But please, come on, give it to your best player, Zeke Elliott. If you're watching every other competitor that's using the Cowboys, they are destroying people with Zeke Elliott. You gotta give the ball in his hands and do it from dives and stretches. Right here, it looks like he's gonna go with a counter is what I see from the play call screen. I don't know if he's gonna stay in it. not in the eye formation. Auto motion counter? Nope. Nope, just a simple zone run left side. That's Zeke Elliott, picks up We'll give him nine and a half on the play. But it seems like that run game. I don't know if uh, Big Boy's heard. I think Elliott guy's pretty good. You should probably give him the ball. Here's the stretch. First down. No, no, no. Why did Juke move? No, Juke. You've got the arm bar. Just, just stick the arm out. Yeah, if you if you have arm bar, don't ever Juke. <laughs> unless, I, unless you're going to do it manually. I, th I think Big Boy might go home and look at his Xbox controller and just rip the left bumper off it so he can't do the <laughs> high pass anymore because 0 for 3 with an interception. That's what the high pass is done with Dak Prescott. First and 10, here comes pressure. That's a pretty good defender right there. J.J. Watt with the sack. Great pass rush by J.J. Watt. He has the edge threat elite. And the edge threat elite is going to be an ability that grants guys their own tier of edge rush, win animation that's better than the two existing tiers. J.J. Watt's the best, arguably the best pass rusher in Madden 20. Just wait until that X factor gets activated. He's looking for the angle route. High pass accurate, and, and Big Boy's looking at that going, about time he threw one on target. Third and nine, he's gonna have to pass here. But one thing, you know, back to Elliott. He has that first one free X factor, which he pretty much can't get tackled right away. You need to get him to that X factor. It's not that difficult. That's and, gotta be part of your scheme. And what, you strategy. activate it by having, I believe it's five runs of 10 yards or more. Once you get the fifth one, it's activated. As Dak's gonna get sacked, J.J. Watt's pretty good, Jamie and Clowney on the other side. That's why you run these Houston Texans. Fourth and long, down two scores. Yeah, so J.J. Uh, Jadavian Clowney has the tackle supreme. He doesn't have pass rush abilities, but he does have good pass rush stats, which is gonna make him be able to get in on the one-on-ones. And the punt, and the momentum, all with T-Dot right now, up 21-7. to seven. Nick Mazesco lights out with you inside Pizza Hut Stadium. This is Group C Losers Qualifier. So this is as much pressure as these guys are going to have. Not only maybe your first live event, 
but you're playing on the big stage, on the stream, okay. and you've got Kuti one more time up the seam. That was very Dr. Seuss X as uh, Kiki Kuti picking up a first down. Yeah, I think Big Boy was thinking he was gonna run right there and start milking the clock. He blitzed both linebackers. No one was over that slot receiver right there for Kiki, and he got a huge game. Play action. RPO. That looked like an RPO. He's gonna get a flag, and I think that's gonna be the illegal receiver downfield. Oh, he's gonna get grounding. It's a mistake. Maybe a little too cute on first down. I mean, like I said, with the milk in the clock, I mean, you're up two possessions. These games go fast. I know you're the Texans, you're, you're using them to pass. You gotta start running a little bit. Second and 20, that's a bad throw, that's picked off. Oh, Anthony Brown with the pick, he's got, got some burners. And the, listen, people may have counted Big Boy out, but that pick right there keeps him alive. I don't understand those last few plays from TDOT, truthfully. Run the ball. Even if you have to punt, you know, milk that clock down, man. Get it to the fourth quarter. You're up two possessions. You can't pass recklessly like that. A little pump, pump fake. Now, well, didn't fake out anybody. Didn't fake out DJ Reader on the uh, defensive line. Another sack right there. Second and 13. Going to the gun wide trip sweep. Let's see what he does with this. Let's see if big boy has a big drive in him. And then 32 to go in the third quarter. Dak. Wow, he Left side, find Zeke underneath. You gotta get that man some touches. Is it? I think it's still not too late to, to run a little bit, but you gotta, you gotta act fast. As Prescott steps up on third and 10, looks down the field, has a man, that's Randall Cobb, the former awesome. Packer, and he's in open space. Can Gibson make the tackle? He's into the end zone, Randall Cobb showing he's still got some wheels. Big boy's still alive. What a way to bounce back Randall Cobb. I don't know what his wheels are. It feels like it's like an 82 speed or something, but somehow, some way, he got the pass, got the catch, and scored to make this a one possession game and still plenty of time left in this game. 54 seconds left in the third. And guys, as you may have seen on the screen, we will be revealing the latest two legends live right here. Don't go anywhere. It's coming up after these games. You're gonna find out who those two legends are. Lights, I know you're excited. We don't even know who they are yet. Do we get them? <laughs> Lights, calm down, man. You get to reveal them. You don't get to take them. <sighs> All right. Lights looking for we'll more take. perks up here. Hey, other my, than... my mutt team needs help, but I'm interested to see. Gets himself some are. Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew, looking for some mutt cards. <laughs> In it for the perks. Deshaun, left side, dumps it off underneath. 48 seconds to go in the third quarter. Turnover is the story of this game. So, uh, Gillespie, I don't know much about him, but I believe, is that the fast fullback? Is he yeah, like Connor Gillespie. That's oh, why teams, people are using him in regs, is he is quick. Great stick. And there goes Lamar. Oh, he done, can he get there? In real life, he may have torn his ACL right there. He tore up the Dallas defense as T Dot with a response. That was very, very good stick right there. Could have been, you know, maybe only like a 15, 20 yard gain, but he was able to maneuver that stick in proper ways to where, you know, Big Boy could not tackle him. And so right after a huge response from Big Boy, T-Dot says, settle down there. I'm still in the lead. Extending the lead back to two scores is Pollard. He'll get up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Let's take a look at this one more time. Just a simple toss play. It's all about being better with the sticks, Lights. Yeah, I like how he was really patient with it. Um, I don't know what... The downfield that, blocking, by the way. Yeah, that, that was very, very good. A lot of times when you try to run to the outside, you, you hold the speed burst too fast. That's definitely a pro tip. Do not hold the uh, acceleration until you get to the second level. How about another burner? Tavon Austin with the catch. Timeout taken by Big Boy in the third quarter. That could come back to bite him late. Yeah, I uh, I can't tell you why. <laughs> I'm not. Yo, quite big sure. boy, why? <laughs> well, listen to me. So this is a cover three. He could exploit this with a five with a five wide. Second and short, looking over the middle post route. Amari Cooper can't come up with the catch, and now a third and short. If you're big boy. Like, this is not a time to panic. There's plenty of time on the clock. Yeah, definitely. I think even still, he could still run the ball if he wants, but I, I do like the five wide to spread him out. Great throw right, right up there. the seam. Oh, from broadcast, from the, the field to the booth, back to the field. Jason Witten with the catch, fours up. This game, 
far from over. Tournament lives on the line. Back in that five wide again. Cover three, look. I want to see a verticals. Attack those seams. Looking deep down the field, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Good swat there against Michael Gallup. Not the guy I'd be going for in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Maybe you would look for Amari Cooper. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, I like Gallup. Not so much as a one-on-one -on -one jump ball receiver. He was trying to make something happen, but like you said, there's still plenty of time. He doesn't need to force it. Is Dak able to find Cobb, pick up another first down? 434 to go in this game. Dak over the middle. Oh, That's Cooper on a slant. Picks up another first down at the 15-yard line. And the no huddle offense trying to score quickly. Empty backfield. Five wide set for Dak. Changing up the play, setting up the hot routes. And there goes the screen defense to the right. No one on the right side. And that doesn't look like it. Dak. Dak. Look out. That's Jadamian Clowney, the former Gamecock with the sack. Uh, that was a tough sack to give up, second and 17. He could have stepped up in the pocket just slightly. Uh, now this is going to be a lot harder to get this first down. Clowney, talk, a lot of people talking, may, might he move in real life? Well, for now, he's on the Texans here in regs, and he's making plays as J.J. Watt, his partner across the D-line with a sack. And right now, the momentum firmly with T-Dot. Yeah, I think, you know, T-Dot, it's just, he feels good about sending four-man rushes, letting Clowney and Watt get those wins on the on the tackles. Would you, would you, the right would you want the Jets to get Jadavian Clowney? I think that'd be a pretty nice piece to that D-line? Yes. <laughs> Was, wasn't even a thought there. He'd be pretty good. I would say it depends who we give up, but I don't really think it matters. Can you imagine Clowney and Quinn and Williams on one D-line? Eat it. Prescott. JJ Balls yet out. Again. Balls out. It's still sitting there. Dak picks up his own fumble. What a spin move. Like spin. It's out again. <laughs> it's picked up by Colvin Dak. You're doing too much. Tita with the fumble recovery. I love the spin right there because it was like. It's like a do -si do Dak, Dak might make it happen. Maybe he could spin, you know, four defenders right there. But the thing that's on my mind is with the way that Big Boy's playing, like his style of play, don't you feel like he would have been better with a different team? Maybe the Houston Texans? Maybe the Houston Texans. Pretty good team if you're looking for that pass offense. And that's Duke Johnson. Was that a strip? That's a face mask from Jeff Heath. I feel like Heath has been in the league for ever. For, forever and ever. I form. Now we got the rolls flipped. It's an I form. Well, I mean, he's doing what he needs to do. He has a field goal right here just waiting to happen. Just milk that clock. Now get it down to as much as you can. If not, let him force to force himself to call timeouts. And you're going to have a 17-point lead barring that field goal. Second and 11. Watson, corner route. He's got Thomas. Makes a man miss. Picks up another first down. 11 of 15 and three touchdowns for the former Clemson Tiger. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Nick, though. Why, why go for that play action there? I mean, the game right there, a pick and you, you could possibly lose this game. You know what I mean? Like, just keep running the ball and kick three. Was that a, a play action handoff? Did I just see a play <laughs> action handoff? I'm almost positive that's what I saw. I think so. Shout out to A-Dub at EA with these, these new playbooks. Yeah, he did a great job, especially, I love the spread play. Fade route. T-Dot may be a little overconfident right now, feeling a little cocky throwing up the fade route. Nick, I can't tell you, man. I don't know. I think Lights Out's about to go have a discussion with T-Dot. Listen, man, I don't know you very well, but what were you thinking? Second and goal, he's throwing it again. The aneurysm is continuing for Lights Out. Watson, oh, he got it, though. escape artist. Oh, Deshaun Watson into the end zone. I think he just wants highlight video, the highlight clips. But uh, T Dot in the chat. T Dot's a good player. You could tell he's good. <laughs> Just I don't know why. You know, Sorry. clock management and play calling is big when winning a Madden belt. He has to get better at that. How about that? GG's in the chat. T Dot and the Houston Texans keeps.